Yo, what's going on, Epic7? I'm Sue, and this is a full auto team for the hell difficulty for Nature's Decline and Decay. If you're just looking for a simple solution to just throw together, have it auto in the background, and get like 95% of the rewards, that's essentially what this video is. It's not trying to be the most flashy or most optimal thing. It's just a bunch of units that most people who are veterans of the game probably have access to. No limiteds here, no Moonlight 5 stars. I'll just explain the mechanics, go through it, why I'm playing, what I'm playing, offer some alternatives, show you some stat lines, and then boom, show you the team, full auto. Got it? Good. All right, so here are the teams I decided to play. If you guys don't know, if it's your first time doing Advent, this is very difficult late game content. If you cannot clear this on the hell difficulty, that is fine, especially if you're a new player. Again, this is meant to be hard late game content. I'm going to probably be using or talking about some five stars that not everyone has access to. But again, that's why I'm offering alternatives so that that way you could see what works. Now, first team only really needs essentially two, maybe three things on it for like the totality of it. Number one, you need every character on the team to have a non-attack skill. So in this case, Senya, whenever she gets a non-critical hit, she activates her passive. That's a non-attack skill. Vivian skill three to attack buff the team. Non-attack skill. So Hawk has a cleanse on his S2. Non-attack skill, right? Secondly, you want to have at least two ways to remove debuffs from your team on the team somehow. So again, the Hawk's non-attack skill is a cleanse. And Vivian, with the correct exclusive equipment, is a mini cleanse for the entire team from debuffs. So that's covered. And then the third thing is just essentially have two damage dealers on it in order to speed it up. So that's why I went with this team. Let me show you some stats in case you want. First up is Senya. Senya does not matter what her stats are. Just be tanky and survive. You do not need the effectus. You do not need the effect resistance. You do not need to be on Bastion of Hope. This is all for the Epic Hell difficulty. This is how I have her built for Epic Hell. That will be in another video, assuming that I can get it out in time before I leave. As I'm recording this, I'm going to be on the road within probably a couple of hours. By the time you watch this, I'm probably already on the road. Right, so again, any Senya will work in this slot. For Vivian, anything over 200 speed with good damage stats will work. Daydream Joker here as the artifact, even though its effectiveness is cut in half. Mana Amplification dispels one debuff from all allies as the exclusive equipment. The Hawk, same thing, Daydream Joker. Uh, anything over 200 speed, exclusive equipment if you want to see it. It doesn't really matter what it is. Over 50% crit chance, right? All right, now, second team. Pretty simple. Defense Breaker, right? Ideally, somebody that could also control the Mushrooms at the same time. That is why Tenebria is going to be pretty much the best character here for you. So anything that's a Defense Breaker that has CC is a plus. A healer, which is Tamarin. And then some kind of main damage dealer. I went with Mercedes because she does AoE and could also clean up the Mushrooms. Sarmia works perfectly fine here. Cirilla can work here. Kane can work in this slot. There's a lot of options. I'll show you Tamarin here. Again, any healer will work in this slot. Wondrous Potion Vial here. Here's Tenebria. Again, just defense break in this slot. Does not necessarily need to be Tenebria. She's just the easiest one. The one that works the best for me. Your mileage may vary. You could play like, I don't know, Ball if you wanted to. Like Ball and Cezanne probably works perfectly fine here. And then your last slot, again, Red Damage Dealer. Went with Mercedes because everyone has access to her. As long as she's over like 180 speed with good damage, you're good to go. I know for a fact that Sermia works perfectly fine on this floor. Uh, I've seen screenshots of Kane working on this floor. People on my streams last night were playing Red Charlotte to some success. Just pick a red damage dealer. You're good to go. Last floor, all you really need, defense breaker and then big damage or defense breaker. Somebody has consistent damage and a healer, right? So how the third floor works is you take bonus damage from the boss as long as there are not debuffs on him. The more debuffs you have, the less damage you take. That's why I went with Haste because he has a defense break that also bleeds. Super good. As for stats, 85% effectus. Make sure he is the character that goes first in team order. Some kind of damage is good. If you don't want to play Haste, Veronica will work fine here, I believe, in this slide. I've had people tell me Veronica works. I've had people tell me Eligos works. Basically, go here, set it to red, set it to defense break. Choose any of these characters that has a 85 to 100% defense break chance. So, for example, Cirilla, her defense break is not 100%. 
wouldn't be a great option. Anything there works fine. Main damage dealer is Zealot Carmen Rose uh, here on Bloody Rose just to make the effectiveness easier. If you don't want to play this, just play a damage artifact with a bunch more effectiveness. I am using her as my damage dealer because free to play. Everyone has access to her. Most people should already have her built for expos. So she's a pretty easy uh, pickup. Also, she has a bunch of debuffs in her kit. So that's going to be super great as well. In case, uh, for whatever reason, Haste miss his bleeds, she will help us uh, get covered with more debuffs. If you don't want to play her, there are other options for you. Uh, Sermia will work here as well. Ain will work as well. Just feel free to choose whatever you want as a hard-hitting damage dealer. It's going to depend on your defense breaker. If your defense breaker only has like defense break and nothing else, you might need to go with the two damage dealer route. So like Kane, Sermia, um, doesn't really matter. Like just pick two damage dealers. You'll be fine as long as your defense breaker actually lands the hit and your damage is sufficient. All right, cool. Got it. Good. Here's how an auto run plays out. Unleash my power. I'll make you useful. I'll remove you like you never even existed. My spear will not dull until it pierces the heart of my enemy. All is done. Torment you. Let's get it over with. I will kill them all. This is why you should have listened to me. Oh, come on. So boring. So there you go. That is a full clear on auto. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. I will be on the road as this video airs, so I won't be able to get to them as quickly as I can. As always, also, if you have different teams that worked out for you, please let your fellow players know down in the comments below. Again, this is not meant to be an optimal team. It's meant to just be something that will help you get started so that way you can farm the vast majority of the event. As always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later now.